Good evening. What's happening? Why am I here? Yeah, Uncle Peter named Sarah babysitting Violet and Luca, and she is babysitting James, right? Yeah. Yeah. Christina hooked it up with a delicious noodle dinner for us and a fancy salad. Ooh. Yeah. He's so mean. <laughs> he is mean. Keep up with these kids. I'm utilizing all of the efforts of Christian and Grant, and I made myself an espresso. Grant, you want to catch Luca? Yeah. One, two, three, go. And I did the trick that Grant said, and to double dip it, but I accidentally quad dipped this pod. That is way too much coffee and probably watery. But I'm supposed to catch Luca. Peter just has to smile at Luca now and he runs away. <laughs> Do you want to do that one? Yeah. I like the boat song. Do you know we're going to see monkeys this summer? At the zoo? At Animal Kingdom in Disney World. Design isn't just what? for monkeys. It's for everyone. Yeah. The clowns did not like it. One day, James, you'll be old enough to join in with the big kids. He's dizzy. What? He's dizzy. Oh my God. I love these train sets. I'm so pumped when Violet asked if we could play with this. I love these kinds of train sets. Train sets, we need to get James a kind like this. Okay, Violet's gonna show us what it can do. We made a whole loop. Look at this. And go turn right up here. Oh no, you broke the bridge a little bit, but it's okay. You want me to fix it? You want me to help you? Why go up and down? Vivi, can you show me your little house? Ooh! <laughs> 
so comfy cozy. Luca turn. Luca's turn. Yeah. Luca, do you want to try? Do you want to go in the basket? Luca, <laughs> After that can. Okay. When I go in here and close this, you sit and wait for me to pop out. Yeah, okay. Now go down. <laughs> Goodbye. See you never. So we are back home. Actually, Peter is still finding a parking spot. Um, he just dropped me and James off and then we took Eve out on a little walk. It's 80 degrees. It's quite warm, which is lovely um, in Chicago tonight. Um, but I wanted to give a little rash update for James. I called the doctor and instead of seeing him, I just talked to one of the nurses and they actually think it's more than just drool because of the um, everything that I've tried so far. Um, it points to it being something a little bit more. Hold well, on, I gotta help Eve get up by the window. So she's she's always a little bit frazzled when I come in and Peter doesn't because she knows that he is coming and she's like on the prowl for him. There is a Cubs game tonight, so we might have a little bit harder of a time um, finding a spot. But anyways, um, they believe that it's probably more so a yeast rash. Um, and so what we're trying is a little mixture combination of 1% hydrocortisone and then an antifungal, um, I forget the exact brand of, I actually ended up just getting Walgreens brand, like comparable to. Um, so we're gonna do that little mixture. They said it should show change in two days. Um, to not do the hydrocortisone for like over a week. Um, if after two days it's starting to get better, that'll be great. We'll continue the antifungal just to make sure it totally rides itself out. But if nothing happens by the end of the week, then we will go in and be seen. So it's kind of nice that they, they didn't require us like going in, um, obviously squeezing in an appointment, um, and you know the cost of a an actual visit that was it was really nice and this is our new pediatrician that was actually recommended to me through just like a mom's facebook group of lakeview um and he has a six month appointment made but we won't go in for like a new patient appointment before that so it was nice that even as a new patient they were able to to help me over the phone so that is that and yeah Relax night. Not so sure how much longer we'll even be up. We really want to watch Sea Spiracy, so maybe we will do that. No Sea Spiracy for us. We started Gilmore Girls. Yeah, we're being productive. I actually just finished the first part of the vlog. Our washing machine was fixed today. Don't mind that. Little bushel getting situated. I ran that. What was in there? The cleanest things we own. They put mm -hmm. in there for. <laughs> How many cycles I didn't finish? 15. Yeah. So, big update in the running world. Well, fun thing is next weekend is the Run Disney Star Wars virtual run weekend, and I'm doing two runs then. But in two months, I'm going to run my very first, like, I could call it, like, actual ultra marathon. So, like, a technical ultra marathon to me is a 50K, 31 miles, because it's like, the first introduction into... Uh, anything over a full marathon. Anything over a full marathon is, ultra mar is an ultra marathon. So, a 50K, 50 mile, or 100K, 100 mile, or all, they're all ultras or, or higher. Um, but, like, there's a big difference between... 50k and a 50 miler and i signed up for one in palatine june 5th and that means it's serious for the running and that means we're also setting a, an awesome goal um for our 50 miles we are going to start pushing our world marathon challenge american cancer society fundraising we're reaching out to businesses we're reaching out to famous people we're reaching out to not famous people we're reaching out to all of you all of your friends all of your family all of you anybody you talk to or work with or work for, um, I really think that we can get, our goal is to get 
we're setting ourselves a goal up of $50,000 in two months by June 5th when I run my 50 miler. So $50,000 fundraised. We're already at like 3,600, but $50,000 fundraised for American Cancer Society by my 50 miler. So it'll be the longest by far I've ever run. Um, I, have a, I have a huge amount of training to do between now and then because of the lax running I've been um, living through. I won't say doing because it's been uh, not as consistent, but I've got a planning, uh, a training plan. Uh, we've gone back plant-based. Um, so we've got that initiative and that like, it's like, that's half the battle. The other half is going to be doing the fundraising, reaching out to the, the proper people, just getting the word out. You can always find the link down below. We have a new email address called Peter Brookhart 777 at gmail.com. If you or anybody, you know, or anybody you can get us in touch with that are philanthropic people. I just think, especially now, you know, fighting cancer is one of those like almost backburnered things during this pandemic that has been greatly affected. The ACS organization has been, and people fighting cancer have been greatly affected by, you know, the pandemic and everything too. So it's not time to let up on fundraising, even with the current economic climate. There are people who are still donating to politicians or to people who are, who didn't lose their jobs that um, can really, you know, put a good foot forward for such an important cause. So, please, please, please help us out, spread the word, and uh, we thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support you've ever given us and all the support you're going to be giving us over the coming um, eight weeks. Also, real quick, we do have a couple of people who have already reached out to us um, that are going to help us do some fundraising. We have a small shop that we will give more information about that a portion of their um, profits will go to our um, fundraising, as well as a potential podcast Disney trivia event that will be hosted. So even like the smallest of things that we can all brainstorm together will be so important to do. So we have a lot of like things already in the works that we're excited to share with you guys, but also if you got any creative gears, message us on Instagram and we'll for sure talk to you guys and get you jumping up. All right, March, not March, April 6th. It's been a while since I've done the message. Today's message is by Horace Traubel. If the world is cold, make your business to build fires. That is a good, solid, multi-generational, everlasting evergreen message. Alrighty, we are just finishing up getting ready for bed. We have a fun new experience that um, we're going to do downtown tomorrow, a museum we've never gone to. So we're excited to share that with you guys. It is good to be home. we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.